Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here in Dallas. That is the Phoenix A321. And I'm here to tell you that TAA is garbage. I didn't come today to make this video. I've just been messing around with some other things. And uh, I want to show you, I wanna, I'm going to prove to you that TAA is just, is just inferior to DLSS. So I have a 32 inch uh, 2K resolution monitor, and that's kind of where this whole thing started, this rabbit hole that I've gone down. Now, I want you to look off here in the distance. You see this? Nice, clear skyline. Nothing out there, right? You can see the trees here off in the distance, to, you know, to an extent. I mean, there's some, you know, some that are, you know, individually visible, I guess you could say, out here in the distance. Along here, you know, eh, it's all right. Sort of blends in. But look at right here in the distance. There's nothing here. You can see this uh, crane. You can see another crane here. You can see some of the portions of, of the uh, the lighting from the airport here. And uh, and let me show you real quick what I'm running. First of all, uh, VRAM 8.135 is what we're looking at. Main thread 17 to 18. I'm pegged at 60 for FPS. So in terms of that stuff, performance is fine. But let me show you here real quick what I'm running into the settings TAA is what I'm running I'm using frame gen and we'll go through real quick what the uh, so these numbers are a little funky because I'm using auto FPS um, but you can see buildings trees ultra which are the kind of things we're talking about right now off-screen terrain pre-caching displacement mapping and ray trace shadows I have off clouds are ultra texture resolution is medium and just have a glance here. There's some new uh, settings in Sim Update 3 Beta version 125. Point, or 1.5.24, excuse me. Um, so I've got these fauna turned off. So we'll go back here real quick. And we're just going to take one more look. You can kind of see the tree line over here. This part looks all right. This kind of looks, eh, whatever. There's not much really to see but crystal clear in the distance, or is it? Let's go into the settings again. I'm gonna turn it to DLSS DLAA, which is no downscaling. It's, it's NVIDIA DLSS uh, anti-aliasing, the deep learning anti-aliasing with no downscaling. Now let's go back into our scene. You see what I see? Way off in the distance, I can see the light, uh, the light fixtures, or the you know the, the 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 big tall towers, the light towers, and in, in the presumably parking lots, right? And they're all, or they could be along the, uh, they could actually be along the uh, the different terminal buildings. But look, all in here, all in here. And even these two cranes, which you could sort of, you could see the top part of the crane with TAA, but you couldn't really see the base of the crane. And even these lights, you couldn't see the base of the lights, right? And then we go over here in the distance. Trees are looking good here. Definitely more definition in here. But you remember this whole, this whole area with TAA was nothing. It was blank, empty, zero, okay? Um, look at the, at the, um, the lines on the surface of the taxiway area, the ramp area, everything looks crystal clear, great definition in here, but none of this gets rendered with TAA, none of it. Let's go back real quick. We'll go, uh, TAA. No, look at that blank nothing there's nothing there there's nothing there and you can't tell me that this looks any better it doesn't this this whole area of the you know the the, the aircraft um the uh the rest of the terminal off here in the distance certainly not the trees not that i care i mean i'm not going to sit there and nitpick that much um but the but the actual excuse me the actual airport I mean, the aircraft, the terminal buildings, the other buildings, 
This is empty. There's nothing back here. You can't see the base of this crane. You can barely see the base of this. You can barely see the actual crane itself. Go back to DLSS. DLAA. Suddenly all of this is populated here off in the distance. And you can see more definition and detail in here. I mean, you can see the individual, you know, uh, crossbars in the crane base now from here. I mean, I'm sorry, but TAA is just is not as good as DLAA. It's just not. Or DLSS, whatever you want to call it. Um, whichever you want to re refer to. So let's take another look here. Um, I'm going to change the altimeter here. This is the big complaint, right? So we're coming in on an approach and we're looking at the altitude tape. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. And yes, you can't see the 20, 40, 60, 80. You can't totally agree with that. Okay. Let's go do that with TAA. Going the wrong direction here. In more ways than one. Now let's roll this back up to like... 30, 30, somewhere in there. I mean, you can even, you can even see it while I'm doing this. You're coming in on approach. Clearly, it's much, much better. Right? So we're trading all of this, all of this detail, all of these objects that are that are just not there in the distance, all of the fine detail along the buildings and everything else. And just imagine when you're flying along, uh, especially if you're a VFR, like lower altitude pilot, where you're making an approach and all this stuff is missing, missing. And we're trading it all for this number right here. Now, what happens when you're on an approach? When you're coming in on an approach, you've got the altitude callouts from the airplane. What does the airplane do? 500. 100 above. 200. 100. 50. 40. 30. 20. And when you're descending at the 50, 40, 30, 20, obviously you're coming down at a lower, at a, at a slower rate, right? A slower angle, a slower rate of descent because you're flaring for the touchdown. But do you need 500, 480, 460, 440, 420? You know, no, you don't need that. You don't hear it. And if you're staring at the altitude tape the entire time, if you, if you can notice that it's 280 instead of 260, I'm going to tell you, you're, you're spending too much time looking at the altitude tape. Your scan should be from here, here, to the, the vertical position on the, on, the, uh, on the right side, the lateral deviation on the bottom, outside, back here, la uh, vertical, lateral, altitude, airspeed, outside, vertical, lateral, altitude, airspeed, outside. You're not looking at this thing the entire time. So we've kind of we, we we're like obsessed with this one little number in the cockpit that really doesn't need the amount of focus that we're giving to it. And what are we trading for it? We're trading all of this. We're trading all of this. And this is this is the argument that's going on in flight sim right now. And and, and some people say, oh, I just I I can't do DLSS. I have to have TAA. So just understand that when you're using TAA, you are losing all of this visual data, all of this visual, uh, you know, output out here is gone. And I'll even put it the quality, DLSS quality. And DLSS quality, so DLAA is one-to-one, -one, it's, it's native resolution. There's no downscaling. Quality is 67%. So it's a two thirds downscale or one third downscale, excuse me. And so the, the, we're going to watch the GPU memory is going to drop as this changes, right? But even with DLSS quality, you can still see these, these uh, light posts in the distance. 
You can still see all of them. You can still see the uh, the bases of the cranes. They're not as good as TA uh, as DLA DLSS, but you can see it all. So DLSS quality, we're saving half a gig of VRAM, and it's still better than TAA. So uh, I'm just putting this together to point this out to you. I I'm gonna get a little bit more into this. We're we're now at almost seven seven tenths of a of a gig of vram which if your vram limited is huge but um for those of you who are insistent that taa is better i'm sorry it's not and 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 we're obsessing over one tiny little number that you shouldn't be spending that much time looking at to begin with my uh my opinion my position be interested to hear what everybody has to say in the comments section below i hope everybody's doing well and we'll talk soon